in our video series of useful MATLAB tips, today we will check how to define piecewise functions. For example, you want to define some quantity that non-linearly increases between 0 to 1. And then there is a break in the function. Between 1 and 2, the function evolves with a different non-linear function. And then finally, between point 0.2 and 4, the function is linear as can be seen here. One way to define this discontinuous function is to define each of those functions separately and combine them together. But more convenient way is to use the function mkpp, which is available in MATLAB. Today, we will look into that function mkpp. Let's start with the piecewise linear function. Let's begin with uh, running this code. This particular code has defined this function. This piecewise function, uh, PWF, was defined using MATLAB library function MKPP. And for that, we needed to also define what are the breaks and what are the coefficients. Breaks are the simple ones. That means uh, where these functions are discontinuous. For example, this function is discontinuous between 0 and 1. So that's why in breaks, the first point is zero and the second one is one. And then this one is discontinuous between one and two. So zero, one, two. And finally, the last one is between two and four. So these are the point of discontinuity. And then we can name them to be breaks. And next, we have to decide what sort of function we want to use. For example, here we have used linear function of ax plus b. So this is the equation of a line. So we have then defined the coefficient a for each line here in a vector a, coefficient b or this constant b of uh, each line in another vector b. And then we have collected these coefficients a and b. So it was not uh, totally a vector here. So by transpose, it was made vector. So for the first equation, a is equal to one and b is equal to three. The first equation becomes one x plus three. So that means x plus three. This is the uh, line for the equation uh, x plus three. The second line, this is defined by two x plus two. A x plus b, of course, the second entry in a is two and the second entry in B is two. So this line is defined by two X plus two. And the last line here, this is defined by three X plus one. And as I defined already, the discontinuity can be expected in this point zero, one, two, and four. So after this uh, function is defined using breaks and coefficient within this function PWF, we can go ahead and plot it. So I have decided to plot it between point zero and four. So define this array of factor. Then to evaluate this piecewise function PWF within this range of X, we have to use this function PPVAL. So this evaluates the value of piecewise function at given value of X. And then eventually we have plotted these values against the X and that gives us a two dimensional plot. Now, instead, if we want to use a quadratic function in between or a second order function in between our piecewise functions, then uh, we can take this example here. So the first curve is a nonlinear function. And uh, this is, I know this is a second order function. The second one is another nonlinear function, second order, but somewhat different. And the final one is linear. Compared to what we have done earlier, our function was ax plus b. There are two vector of coefficients, a and b. To define this function, we can see the breaks here, although it's nonlinear, is same as how we have defined in linear function. So we kept the breaks same as the previous linear function. But uh, now to define a quadratic function, we have added an additional set of uh, coefficients, which is c. Now we have a, b, c, and they will define the quadratic function ax squared plus bx plus c. And uh, when we have these coefficients transposed to a vector, similarly that we have done earlier, we can put the same breaks together with these coefficients a, b, c within this mkpp function to define the piecewise function. But in this case, 
each of the functions are quadratic now look the third one was not quadratic the third one is linear that was achieved by defining for the third curve a is zero so it automatically becomes bx plus c so the third line has the equation of x plus 2 because the x square part is already zero due to the value of this coefficient a being zero but rest of the curves the, the first curve has the equation x square so a is equal to 1 1 into x square is x square plus bx then uh, the first one b is 3 so x square plus 3x and c is 3 so plus 3 so this is the equation of the first curve for the second curve similarly the equation is 2x square plus 2 uh, plus 2x plus 2 similarly you can define additional uh, coefficient vectors a b c d e to get a third or higher order polynomial function of course you can have uh, three intervals or if you want you can have less or more discontinuity 